today is finally the day. So let me start this video off by saying, what's going on guys? Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day. The hard body shredding t-shirts are now live. They are available from now until the 11th of May, which is my body power show day. It's a 10 day pre-order. They're available in sizes double XL, XL, large, medium, and small. Two different colors in black and in burgundy, as you've seen in previous videos. And then as soon as the pre-order ends on the 11th of May, which will be my second show day, all the orders will be shipped out first class and you should receive them probably within like two or three days. So like around the 13th or the 14th, if you decide to pick one up, there is a link in the description. It is the first link. The main reason I wanted to create these is because for the past, I think we're on 38 episodes of Hard Body Trading now. This series is like, it's been such a massive part of my life and I wanted to like have something to wear to be able to like remember this and to give you guys something to like represent the series with if you've enjoyed and supported this series so far. Obviously, yes, one show day down, we have one more to go. What better way to finish this series off than with a release of the Hard Body Shredding 2019 t-shirt. This is what they'll come like if you actually order one. So it's gonna come in this sick Everpress bag, which is the company, the distribution center that I've used to ship out all the t-shirts. So when you receive this bag in the mail, this is <laughs> this is the Hard Body Shredding t-shirt. So when you take it out the packet, this is what it's gonna come like. It's laid out so you can see exactly what it's gonna look like. Hard Body Shredding made in 2019. So overwhelmed with the quality quality of these, the quality of the print. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like slightly raised off the t-shirt. Like it's so clean. And then of course, after searching long and hard for the perfect material of these, it is 94% cotton, 6% elastane. Any details that you need to know about the t-shirt, they are listed in the link in the description on the website upon purchase. All the information you need to know about delivery and pre-order and how many days are left to order the t-shirts will be on the website. So with that being said guys, Harbour to Shredding t-shirts, now live. Today's gonna be a pretty interesting video. We have a lot of stuff to talk about. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. This video is gonna be like almost like a recap of what I've been doing over the past three days since show day. I'm gonna be speaking about my opinion on the judging. There's been a lot of mixed opinions on social media, like especially in the comment section on the show day video. There is literally over a thousand comments of people being like, Brandon, you should have won. You was robbed. I'm actually gonna be giving my opinion on that in this video because after taking a look at the footage and the show day pictures, I've actually posted a bunch of pictures on Instagram over the past few days of my condition right now and the show day pictures. And the comment section has been just the same as it is on YouTube. Everyone convinced that I was somehow robbed and the show was rigged. All those kind of things I am going to break down in this video and give my opinion on my placing. Now it's all like sunk in because all the endorphins of all the food I ate post show have like kind of like gone off. I've had a moment to breathe and think and collect my thoughts. So in this video, I'm going to be speaking about that. Also, I'm going to be going over some of the things I've been doing over the past few days, how my body has, I guess, fluctuated from the cheat day, how I'm getting back in condition all the protocols I'm following to bring a better package to the body power stage in literally what is today nine days time we are currently nine days out from the second show so I'm gonna be going over just some of the things I've been doing over the past three days in this video to keep you up to date with what we've been what we've been up to because your boy he hasn't been sleeping I have been working so freaking hard to get like even more condition for this show because there are a couple things that I feel like I could have done differently all a learning process we know for next time but first off when you get into some of the food I ate, because as you know, after the show, I had that full day and night off, and then the second day, I actually had a complete day off my diet as well, resulting in a complete 36 hours off my diet, like it, literally eating whatever I want. This is some of the stuff that I actually had over those days. Always dance and sing You're captivating me oh. 
So as you just saw, those are some of the foods that I had over the 36 hours and the breakfast food that you saw was at Boston Tea Party. They're like all over Birmingham and it is the breakfast food that I was craving so much. All the dishes that you saw, it took me 10 minutes to delete every single one of those. I was like granola, delete, chorizo hash, delete, avocado toast, delete. Has he not eaten in the past year? Kind of feels like that. After breakfast, I kind of like chilled out for the rest of the day. Well, actually, that's a lie. I had like waffles croissants, a bunch of jam, peanut butter, and more Biscoff paste. I ended up finishing the cheesecakes that Brittany got me. I went to Subway, had some more cookies. On the nighttime, I had more of Brittany's chicken dish that she made for me on show day. And then to finish it all off, me and Brittany went on a date to Wagamama's, which is this incredible, if you, if you know what Wagamama's is, you know what I'm talking about, but we basically ordered just a bunch of starters because the, the starters there are incredible. Woke up in the morning and got back to work. I've been doing one hour Stairmaster in the AM and then another hour on the Stairmaster PM, it has not been easy, but we need to get back on track. I've been trying to get rid of all the water and everything, but it's actually pretty funny because I thought I was safe based on the condition of my physique after the cheat day. This is what my legs were looking like on the cheat day. Full morning of just like sugars and like eating whatever I want. This happened. <laughs> the striations are coming out of the legs so much more than they ever have before. In the back. This is how my legs should have looked on the actual day. At least we know now what to do for the next show in 12 days. Dirty hard up. <laughs> So obviously, based on that footage, I thought, you know what, like I am safe, I have not rebounded, the carbs have gone straight into my muscles, I'm gonna look so good for body power. Later that day, I kind of felt a little bit guilty about the, all the food I was eating, I wanted to sweat some of it out. I ended up going to the sauna and recorded a little bit of my physique when I got out the sauna and steam room because the veins, the veins were real. So this is me at the sauna, just poking my leg out right there. But as you can see, like my chest is full, my striations are there, my abs are just like, sh I'm full of food by the way, and my abs are still like visible, my obliques, flexing my arm. Now here are my legs and the striations have never been so visible in my life. Like why did my legs not look like this on show day? Like, I don't know what happened, but here is my chest. I'm feeling full, I'm feeling good. And based on seeing this footage, I was like, yo, I'm safe. Like I've eaten what I want to. I'm gonna continue eating what I want to for the rest of the day. And I'm gonna wake up feeling great. Great. Well, that's not what happened because when I woke up in the morning, I was 206 pound. On show day, I was 197 pound. I'd woken up after the cheat day, nine pound heavier. I was like, I've messed it. I shouldn't have cheated. I've messed up. I started to like freak out a little bit. So over the past few days, I've been devising like plans to get rid of the water. I was honestly freaking out for no reason because right now we're nine days out from the show. It's actually been three days since the cheat and all the subcutaneous water has actually like started to fade away now. I woke up this morning after doing my first zero carb day, which I'll speak about in a second in the next clip. I'm actually on zero carbs again today. So I'm like, I, I, I have no idea how I'm recording this video. And I woke up this morning, 100, and 98.2 pound, which is just one pound above my last show day weight. And we have nine more days to bring back condition. So essentially I have nine more days to lose 1.2 pound, which puts me in a very good position and I'm very happy about that. As far as workouts go, my first workout back was a leg workout because I really wanted to use all the sugars and the fats to just like blow my legs up and I had one of the best leg workouts I think I've ever had. The second workout was a chest and tricep workout. I actually recorded some of that because I had a workout with my brother at Emporium, which was yesterday. So here is the footage that we got from that. Got a couple things going on right now. Just got back from Tesco, picked up some things for the next few days of prep. My brother just got here because we're just about to go to the gym. It's his first time actually driving to the apartment himself. I didn't know if he'd actually make it, but he's here. So all is good. We're gonna go to Emporium for that chest and tricep workout. Like I feel so freaking strong in the gym. I haven't trained chest yet. I trained legs yesterday and it was definitely an interesting workout because of how much I could put on the leg press. I felt like an ego lifter. Like I haven't controlled that much weight in so long. So I'm excited to see how today's chest workout is gonna go. This is what's currently going on right now. Excuse the hand by the way, it's still quite tender. I haven't really got all the time off yet, but cod is pretty much all I'm eating now for my protein source. We got a bunch of frozen and packets. We got two that aren't frozen, so I can eat these today. Got some rice crispies, almond milk, fabric softener because your boy, yes, he does laundry. As you can see, it is laundry day. We got two parts of Greek yogurt, a shit ton of asparagus for the next few days, some avocados, an exfoliation mitt because I'm struggling to get the tan off. So we got this. We got some scrub that like you put on the mitt and it like helps get tan off. It's like a salt scrub. We got some oats as 
well. And then two packets of this Himalayan bath salt, because apparently it reduces inflammation in the body. And my post-show rebound is some serious shit. I'm trying to get rid of all the subcutaneous water under my skin. So these should help get rid of some of the inflammation in my body. Today is going to be an interesting day to say the least, because it's my first day doing zero carb. Yes, zero carb. High protein, moderately high fat, but my carbs are literally at probably about 20 grams for the entire day, which is essentially zero carb. It's going to be a shaky day. It's going to be a weird day. Cardio is going to be a lot harder than usual, but we just made a pre-workout meal. We have about 250 grams of cod, 50 grams of asparagus, and 40 grams of avocado. Seasoned with smoked paprika and Himalayan salt. No sauce. I've actually cut out Monster and sauce is completed right now because we don't have a lot of time to get back in the condition we need to to present a better package on stage. So I'm not leaving any stones unturned. I know sauce isn't going to necessarily affect my physique, but I'd rather just like not do it for 10 days. It's 10 days of hell. It is a necessary pain to try and pull something back for the body power show. And as you can see, we have a little bit more cardio than usual to pull some calories from somewhere. Otherwise, I'll be having like fucking no calories today. That was a very unfulfilling meal, but <laughs> we're about to head to the gym. But before we do that, as you know, today the Hard Body Shredding 2019 t-shirts went live. I'm actually wearing one of these right now in black. Before we head to the gym, I think my brother, because they released today, obviously, I think he needs an upgrade. The guy is wearing the very first edition of the Hard Body t-shirt that came out literally like, was this like a year and a half ago, two years ago? Dude, you look massive, don't worry. Yeah, cheers. But now, obviously, we have the new ones. We've got the black and we've got the burgundy, both in large. So, there you go, man. Thank happy, you very much. Happy freaking birthday. Christmas came early. What are you doing? <laughs> Makes me arms up bigger. No, it doesn't. Ready for chest day and biceps. There we go, side tricep. Fucking twins. Who's the bigger brother? Who's the bigger brother? Who's the bigger brother? Who's the bigger brother? You're definitely the bigger brother. There's a link in the description if you do want to pick one of these up. So we just got in the gym, sipped on a pre-workout, but we're just getting to the first exercise of this session. Incline, machine press, and then we're gonna go to decline machine press, and then we're gonna hit the dumbbells, probably flat bench, then incline flies. Just gonna have fun get a crazy pump and just see what we can do. of today if the judges want condition it's what they're gonna get even if you have to melt away into nothing oh. this is hard buddy shredding redemption we're not redeeming our past physique now we're redeeming second place honestly had probably one of the best chest workouts I've ever had and already today, the DOMS are real. I haven't had DOMS, I haven't had post-workout pain because I haven't been able to push myself in the gym for the longest time, forever, and my chest, I can't even like stretch it out today, it's so bad. But like I said earlier on in the video, I've been doing little things to try and get rid of some of the inflammation around my body because obviously it is just water retention that I was holding post-cheat day. So I've been doing little things like you saw, like going to the steam room, the sauna, and I've even, as you saw, picked up some bath salts from Tesco. So last night I ended up recording some of the footage from like trying the bath salts for the first time. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what these bath salts are all about. They actually smell like really good. <laughs> it says to use two handfuls, so I think that'll be enough. Alright, yes, 
I am in the bath. I feel like I'm always naked in these videos now. I was naked when I got a tan in my show day video, and now I'm naked in the bath. But we're just gonna run with it. You're gonna chill here for about 20 minutes, let the salts do their thing. They are great, apparently, for reducing inflammation, which obviously, post cheat day, and trying to get back into some sort of condition for the body power show. This is just like a thing on the list that I wanted to like try out and do. I'm gonna do this every single night for about a week. What more can you really do? So I'm just trying to tick as many boxes as possible. The salt's kind of weird on my bum because it's, like, <laughs> it's like settled at the bottom of the bath. I'm here with my very large mug of tea. I'm gonna drink this and watch a couple of YouTube videos, do some emails, do some work, just basically just chill. This is gonna be me for the next week. I don't like coffee. I just like don't like the taste, but I love a good tea with some vanilla flavor drops in it because I have to have it black. But the actual reason I'd have in this is because it's just like really warm and soothing. You know, like that feeling of when you just have a warm drink, it relaxes you. But with this, combined with the bath, it's gonna help me chill out on the nighttime to reduce the stress, I guess like minor anxiety that you get from competition prep, like wondering if you're gonna get that condition back, which is literally why I'm doing everything humanly possible to try to bring a better package to the stage. My friends are gonna be there, my family's gonna be there, subscribe, like some of you guys are gonna be there, and I feel like I just have to like make you proud. I mean, I don't know why I feel all this extra pressure because I went to the Exeter show. I did exactly what I said I was gonna do, beat my previous package, which I did. But I feel like if I don't do well at body power, it takes away from the 100 days of dieting that I did for the first show. I'm really happy that I had a cheat. I was able to enjoy myself, but I'm thinking to myself like, should I really have done that? Should I have held off? My legs are getting tingly right now. It's quite uncomfortable, but I'm just trying to do everything I can to look even better at the second show. So doing little things like this, chilling myself out. These are just some of the things I'm doing right now to bring the best condition possible. So as you've seen over the past few days, I've literally just been doing everything humanly possible to get back into condition. Woke up this morning at a really comfortable weight. I'm very happy with the progress that's been made. And like I said, we also have nine more days to bring even more condition. I actually took a picture this morning of what my condition is looking like. And this is the picture that was taken. Abs are coming in. The indents in my legs are showing again, which actually completely disappeared. But as you can see, we're getting back into business. Now we're gonna start talking about my opinion on show day and what I think about the judging and if it was unfair, if I was robbed and I'm not gonna go too deeply into it because at the end of the day, like you can look at the pictures. These are the show day pictures. I'm gonna overlay them right now. As you can see by these pictures, yes, I do look fuller than first place. I look leaner than first place. I look like I have more of a classic physique than first place. And this isn't me just like trying to be a dick and like big myself up. You can clearly see the difference in our physiques. Now this is me by no means knocking first place. I think he deserved that win just as much as anyone that competed on that day deserved first place because we all dieted, we all were in the trenches together, we all did the Stairmaster, we all sacrificed the enjoyments of life and maybe jeopardized some relationships and all those kind of things that come along with prep. Rightfully so, deserved first place just as much as third place. Me, and himself. So that's kind of my opinion on who deserved first place. Obviously by the pictures and the response on all of like the comments and social media blowing up, it was like unfair. Like why did that physique win? Why was he, it, does he look better than me? Was he leaner than me? Does he have more muscle mass than me? Does he have more of a classic physique than me? It's kind of like unhealthy that bodybuilding and like competing creates that sort of like feeling of like not feeling enough and not feeling substantial because obviously when you look at these pictures and you feel so proud of the physique that you have created and the condition you've brought to the stage and then somehow some guy that seemingly looks less classic wins what could have possibly happened. Now I'm convinced that the show, it wasn't rigged. PCA are very good at judging their shows fairly. It's not like a lot of federations where they like implement politics and who knows who. PCA are very, very fair when it comes to judging any shows I've been to in the past. So I do not believe that it was rigged or some of the comments were just like, dude, you were robbed. I do believe that the guy that came first, he was a lot tighter than me. He had less like water over the skin because some of the feedback I got from the judges was that my midsection was a little bit watery. I think through the slow carb that we did and the abundance of rice cakes, jam and peanut butter that I had on stage day, I had four leading up to the show two hours before I stepped on stage and I think that somehow created some sort of like water retention that was just like over the top of my abs which the guy that came first didn't have. Now if PCA are looking for a leaner, more slender, tighter physique then that would obviously mean that first place got first place because that's the way he looked and that's not the way I look. So the plan for the next show is I'm not gonna be carving up, 
I'm not going to be doing anything crazy. I'm not going to be having jam and rice cakes on the day because I seem to look better on a regular day. When I wake up, when I get back from cardio, I look at myself in the mirror, I feel tight, I feel lean, and that is exactly what we're going to be doing for body power. We're going to be implementing some of the information that we got from my post-show cheat day because after all the sugars and the carbs, I the next day was so vascular and so like much tighter and leaner. So the method for show day is we're not going to carb, but we're not going to do anything crazy. We're not going to do anything on show day. If anything, I'm going to go into the show on show day, more or less fasted, just having nibbled on some protein. The night before, I'm going to be doing the burgers and fries approach based on the pictures and the guy that come first. Like I should just come in flat and just like see what happens because that is the only thing I've never done on show day. I have never come in flat. I've always tried to carb up. I've always tried to manipulate sugars and water and all these things. But I think this show day, we are going to go in safe and doing exactly what we've been doing this whole prep, which is just treating it as a regular day. I will obviously go more into depth about the strategy on the next show day video, but that's pretty much an overview. I am a little bit disappointed based on seeing the pictures and the footage because I do think that I brought a better package to the stage and I'm not salty that I didn't win because I believe that Lee, as I said in the vlog and everyone else has said, I thought he should have won. I thought he was robbed. He got third place and he had really vascular legs. He could do a vacuum. There was only me and Lee on stage that could even do a vacuum. And this is classic bodybuilding. Aren't you meant to be able to do a vacuum? I know it's not a mandatory pose. But you'd think doing classic, a vacuum would give someone like the edge because it's like a classic style of pose. And we were the only ones that could do it. So I'm happy with second place. My second place trophy right here. I am so proud of this shit. And I truly believe that I deserve second place. As far as the judging goes, I definitely think Lee should have won. I don't think it was rigged. I don't think there was any politics involved. I guess we're just trying to figure out what PCA are looking for as far as like what a classic physique is. And if that is someone that is like super dry and super lean, having maybe sacrificed some size and mass on stage, then that is what we're gonna to bring to the stage of body power. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna go in lean, I'm gonna go in dry, I'm gonna go in a little bit flatter and just having the burger and fries for the vascular post cheat leg veins. Now obviously everyone's gonna have different opinions on this, but you cannot take away from the fact that that show day was one of the best days of my entire life. Spending Tom's birthday with him, meeting new people, having an incredible stage, showcasing what I had worked for for 101 days of dieting on stage, and just being proud. Like it doesn't matter what happened, it doesn't matter about the placing. People get so caught up in like, he should have won, she should have won. But look at the end of the day, like that's not what dieting and presenting your best package on stage is, it's about being proud of what you've created. It's about being proud of the process and just like enjoying it. The feeling of euphoria and just like proudness that I felt after the show was just like some of the, I can't even explain. And all that matters is that I gave that prep literally everything. We have nine more days to pull it in, to bring in even more condition for the Body Power Show. And I'm convinced that if we keep on doing what we're doing, it is gonna be a pretty special day. And I'm excited to share that day with whoever comes up. If you are gonna be at Body Power, I will be keeping everyone updated. If you are at Body Power, when I'll be on stage, if you wanna come, show support, see the performance and all that kind of thing. The posing routine, I'm creating something special for that specific day. So if you wanna see it, I will be keeping everyone updated on Instagram. That's what I've been doing for the past few days. We have more work to do. I'm about to get another zero carb meal in right now. And I'm excited about it. So with that being said, I'm gonna end this video here. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. The hard body shredding t-shirts are now live. Link in the description if you wanna pick one up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.